Good evening, and welcome to the fourth annual 2021 Seminole 100 celebration. On behalf of the Jim Moran Institute for Global Entrepreneurship, we are so excited to honor the fastest growing businesses owned or led by Florida State University alumni. Obviously, this year's event looks a little different, and we wish we could be together with you tonight to share in your success and celebrate in person. But in keeping with the entrepreneurial spirit, we have embraced the chance to pivot and try something new this year. We hope this virtual format has given you a unique opportunity to celebrate with the staff, partners, clients, friends, and family members who made your journey possible. All honorees should have received a box with various print materials and swag items. Here you will find a card with instructions on how to engage via social media. I invite you each to share your photos and congratulatory messages from this event on social media tonight. Please use the hashtag Seminole 100 or tag the Jim Rand Institute on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Before we begin, I would like to introduce a special guest to deliver a congratulatory message. Please join me in welcoming President John Thrasher, FSU's 15th president. Hello, I'm President John Thrasher. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to recognize the Seminole 100, the outstanding alumni who own or lead these fast-growing businesses, had the vision to see new possibilities and the courage to take a few risks. They're providing needed products and services, creating jobs and driving the economy, and that's important now more than ever. To all the honorees, congratulations. You embody the entrepreneurial spirit that thrives at Florida State University, a place filled with passionate people who think critically, solve problems, and strive for success. Your accomplishments reflect well on FSU and inspire a new generation of innovators and business leaders. I encourage you to share your expertise and wisdom with our students by mentoring them, offering them internships, and shadowing job opportunities, and yes, even hiring them after graduation. But tonight, it's about celebrating your achievements. Again, congratulations and go Knowles. Thank you, President Thrasher, for that inspiring message. At this time, we'd like to extend special appreciation to the Seminole 100 partners and sponsors who made this celebration possible. Thank you to our financial partner for this event, EY. They have played an integral role in reviewing revenue submissions for all the companies honored here, and this celebration would not be possible without them. I'd also like to extend a special thank you to the Seminole 100 sponsors, our Veery sponsor, the FSU Alumni Association, and our Garnet sponsors, Atlanta Family and Immigration Law for sponsoring for the first time, and VRA partners who have sponsored this event for all four years. Hi, I'm Julie Decker, President and CEO of the FSU Alumni Association. Congratulations to all of our Seminole 100 honorees this evening. The FSU Alumni Association is proud to once again sponsor tonight's event. We look forward to celebrating you throughout the year. Congratulations and go Knowles! The Jim Moran Institute started the Seminole 100 program to honor the hard work and dedication of FSU alumni and to recognize the extraordinary journeys you are on as you lead some of the fastest growing companies in the world. The Jim Moran Institute was established in 1995 in the FSU College of Business through a contribution from automotive pioneer Jim Moran and his wife Jan Moran to cultivate, train, and inspire entrepreneurial leaders. The Institute has grown exponentially over the years to 16 staff members and five locations in Florida, including our headquarters at the Jim Moran Building in downtown Tallahassee and offices in Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville, Palm Beach, and Tampa. We are so honored to have the privilege to come to work every day and serve small businesses and entrepreneurs throughout the state and around the country. We host several programs from our Florida office locations, including our Small Business Executive Program, Nonprofit Executive Program, CEO Peer-to-Peer -peer Groups, Expert Speaker Series, all at no cost thanks to the generosity of our donor, Mrs. Jan Moran and the Jim Moran Foundation. Programs like our Small Business Executive Program are unique because they're geared towards existing business owners who have been in business for at least three years and have five employees or more. We also offer several national programs. In addition to the Seminole 100, we host three veteran entrepreneurship programs and our annual Small Business Leadership Conference, which was named one of the five leadership conferences you can't afford to miss by entrepreneur.com. 
For those of you who are not as familiar with our Institute, we encourage you to visit our website and learn more about our programs and how we help businesses grow and scale. We hope you'll take advantage of one of our programs or the many great opportunities at Florida State to continue improving and growing your company. The Jim Moran Institute was fortunate to once again work with financial partner EY to calculate compound annual growth rate for all the Seminole 100 applicants. EY has a long-standing tradition of hiring and recruiting talent from Florida State University and dedicating resources to help entrepreneurs grow and thrive. EY is committed to doing their part and building a better working world for their people, clients, and communities. Here to share some statistics about the 2021 Seminole 100 class is Rob Brown, consultant and partner in EY's Tampa office. EY has a long history of recognizing the potential of entrepreneurs of many backgrounds. Whether it be our own Entrepreneur of the Year program, the Entrepreneurial Winning Women program that supports female founders, or the Entrepreneurs Access Network that teams with Black and Latinx founders. Supporting and recognizing entrepreneurs like you is key to our purpose of building a better working world. As a child, brother, and husband of FSU graduates and an alum myself of the College of Business, I could not be more proud to team with the Jim Moran Institute to support Seminole 100. To that end, I'd also like to recognize two, key, two colleagues from EY who are critical to our role. So, Caitlin Kinney and Emily Connors, thank you for everything you do. And yes, of course, they're both Knowles. Enough about EY, let's talk about you. You are unstoppable, courageous, and tenacious entrepreneurs. And I'd like to spend just a few minutes sharing some impressive statistics around the Seminole 100 class of 2021. Over 140 owners or business managers identified themselves as Florida State alumni and applied for the 2021 Seminole 100. Of those, the top 100 with the highest compound annual growth rate are recognized here today. Of these 100, 72 of the companies on this year's list were also honored in 2018, 2019, or 2020. 28 companies made their debut this year. 18 of the companies are women-led businesses, eight companies are minority-led businesses, and six are led by veterans. The class represents 16 different states with 70 companies based here in Florida. The companies represented on the list employ a total of 8,114 people. There is one class year with the most number of graduates represented. This is the class of 2000. While half of the companies on the list have been in business for less than 10 years, our oldest company has been in business for a total of 69 years. Innovations Federal Credit Union. We would also like to give a shout out to the top three colleges with the highest number of graduates. These are the College of Business, the College of Social Sciences and Public Policy, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you, Rob, and thank you, EY. Rob and his team donated countless hours analyzing revenue verification forms and calculating year-over-year -year growth for all the companies that applied. We are so appreciative of EY's partnership. As you can see, we have a diverse group of honorees this year when it comes to revenue, ranging in value from 300,000 to over 137 million for a total combined revenue of more than $1.1 billion. And now for our first award of the evening, our Tribe Award, which stands for Top Revenue Indicator for Business Excellence. 
This award is given to the company that earns the highest revenue for the 2017 through 2019 application cycle and is independent of growth rate. In 2019, this company employed more than 300 people and earned over $550 million in revenue. I'd like to present the 2021 Tribe Award to Infinite Energy LLC of Gainesville, Florida. Infinite Energy was founded in 1994 by College of Business alumni Rich Blazer as a retail and wholesale energy provider. Based in Gainesville, Florida, the company provided natural gas to homes and businesses as a retailer in Georgia, Florida, Ohio, and New Jersey, as well as electricity in Texas. The company also served as an energy wholesaler in 22 states. Infinite Energy has been recognized as one of Florida's best workplaces by Florida Trend Magazine, and in 2018, Inc. Magazine ranked Infinite Energy as one of the best places to work in the U.S. Congratulations to Rich Blazer and Stephen Madden of Infinite Energy. Here to accept the 2021 Tribe Award is Rich Blazer, founder of Infinite Energy, LLC. It's a true honor to win this year's Seminole 100 Tribe Award for Top Earning Company. I graduated from Florida State in 1991, which seems like a lifetime ago now. But we grew the company for 26 years, and it wasn't just my business partner and myself, it was our employees. And those employees are what make your company. A company really is just ink on a piece of paper, if you think about it, without the employees. And so we wanted to create an amazing work environment for our employees. And so our thought process is we want to create a place where we want to come to work. And we, that was our guiding light for making our decisions when we're thinking about employees. If you want to have a successful company, I suggest using that as your guiding light. Create a place where you want to come to work. Thanks again, and uh, hey, have an outstanding 2021. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to kick off the company rankings. We will feature some messages from some of our esteemed deans throughout the rankings. We'll start with number 100 and count all the way down to number one. Hello, it is my privilege as Dean of the Jim Moran College of Entrepreneurship to congratulate all of our alumni who have been named to the 2021 Seminole 100 list. It is outstanding to see alumni from the college fulfilling their entrepreneurial dreams. We are proud to know you are leading the way in business and building better communities. Congratulations and go Knowles. Starting us off at number 100, Orlando Project Controls, Scott Collins. Number 99, Harvard and Associates CPA PA, John Harvard. Number 98, Insurance Services of Central Florida, Inc., James Cleveland IV. Number 97, Tallahassee Financial Advisors, Trent Mavis. Number 96, Kalarn Lakes Taekwondo, Blaine Markey and Ray Markey. Number 95, Re-Employability Inc., Deborah Livingston. Number 94, Insurance Specialty Group, LLC, Bruce Harrell and Stephen Harrell. Number 93, Play, LLC, Brett Player. Number 92, Tomo Construction, LLC, Meredith Wall. And at number 91, Play Big Therapy and Recreation Zone, LLC, Kelly Hutto and Rachel Charlotte. This is Jim Clark from the College of Social Work. I'm a Dean and Professor here. And I just wanna send my heartiest congratulations to our wonderful alums who have been recognized by the Seminole 100 Award uh, for running outstanding businesses. Uh, I so appreciate the fact that you as social workers have taken the wonderful skills and knowledge base that you gained at FSU and you brought them into your communities and you've enriched them by driving uh, new economic opportunities for your employees and providing excellent services for your customers and clients. So it's with a great deal of pride and as someone who 
once co-owned a small business to say, congratulations. Hello, I'm Tom Blomberg, Dean of the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice. I would like to congratulate each of tonight's 2021 Seminole 100 honorees. I would particularly like to congratulate alumni of the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice who are among those being honored here tonight. The College of Criminology and Criminal Justice, which is dedicated to bringing research to life to reduce the pain and suffering of crime, encourages each of our students to make a positive difference as they proceed throughout their careers and lives. Each of you honorees here tonight bring honor to your respective colleges and to Florida State University by successfully using the skills that you learned here to create innovative and unique solutions to improve the world around you. And we know today those skills are most definitely needed. Congratulations and keep making your college and this fine university, Florida State, proud. Go Knowles. At number 90, Convergence Consulting Group, Sam Powell, Brian Rimes, and Dan Rodriguez. Number 89, Deep Blue Yacht Supply, Inc., Ryan Charles, Michael Heller, and Justin Hoff. Number 88, AVT Simulation, Kyle Crooks. Number 87, Creative Sign Designs, Melanie Harden and James Harden Jr. Number 86, Innovations Federal Credit Union, Scott Gladden, Karen Hurst, and David Southall. Number 85, Barksdale Custom Pools, Amanda Barksdale. Number 84, McKee Insurance Agency, Ian Clark, Chad Gardner, Patrick McKee, and Grover McKee Jr. Number 83, Beck Partners Insurance, Reed Rushing. Number 82, Assurance Financial, Chris Payton. And at number 81, ONB Law, PA, Joy ONB. Hello, I'm Erin O'Connor, Dean of the FSU College of Law. Congratulations to you all on being selected as Seminole 100 honorees. Being recognized as one of the fastest growing FSU alumni owned or led businesses is a remarkable achievement. Special congratulations to our law school graduates, Autumn Blackledge, Ab Payne, Michael Gladden, Audrey Earhart, Jason Lazarus, Daniel Alvarez, and Joanna Neves. Everyone at the law school is so proud of your accomplishments. Go Knowles. At number 80, Infusion Plus, Ab Payne. Number 79, Imperial Fence Supply, Todd Jeffries. Number 78, Urban Catalyst Consultants, William Colbert and Sean Marston. Number 77, Jeff Kotkamp, PA, Jeff Kotkamp. Number 76, Agile Thought, Jeff Oligood, Ryan Durrell, and David Romine. Number 75, Russ Voorhees Insurance Agency, Inc. Russ Voorhees. Number 74, Allied Instructional Services, Karen Walker. Number 73, Premier Computer Solutions, Brian Road. Number 72, CFO Alliance, Brooke Evans. And at number 71, Advanta IRA, Jack Callahan, Jr. It is my privilege as Dean of the College of Education to congratulate our alumni for being named to the Seminole 100 list. 
Our college is a diverse place with students studying everything from how to be an exceptional teacher and educational leader to learning the ins and outs of the sports industry. However, the unifying idea behind the College of Education is that with a great education, you can do anything you put your mind to. Your achievements exemplify that idea and provide a sterling example that great leaders are great learners. Congratulations once again, and go Knowles. I want to congratulate the College of Human Sciences Seminole 100 awardees for 2021. Suresh Narayanan of Aerospace Quality Research and Development, Bradley Buckenheimer and David Rainey of Canopy Road Cafe, David Langley and Gary Visser of Premier Med, and Deborah Livingston of Reemployability Inc. Your step from human sciences degree to successful entrepreneur is truly remarkable, and we are very proud of you. As Dean of the College of Human Sciences, I want you to know that your successes as alumni are inspirational to our future graduates and the potential they bring to the state and nation. Congratulations again as 2021 Seminole 100 Award recipients. Number 70, Superior Painting. Gerard Lamoth, Jr. Number 69, Jet Sports Management, LLC, B.B. Abbott. Number 68, Prime Meridian Bank, Bill Crona, Sammy Dixon, Roy Gimple, Kathleen Jones, and Richard Widener. Number 67, R.F. Smart, George Morales. Number 66, Downs and St. Germain Research, Joseph St. Germain. Number 65, Canopy Road Cafe, Brad Buckenheimer and David Rainey. Number 64, Otter's Chicken, Bill Peterson Jr. Number 63, Autumn Beck Blackledge PLLC LLC, Autumn Blackledge. Number 62, Simpler Built, Inc., Gordon DeVos. And at number 61, Staff Builders HR, LLC, Andy Norman. It is my privilege as Dean of the FAMU FSU College of Engineering to congratulate our alumni for being named to the Seminole 100 list. Our college is uniquely diverse as a launch pad engaged in exciting engineering innovations and in producing the engineers that will move the world forward through innovation and entrepreneurship. Hats off to William Colbert, Scott Collins, Curtis Fellaini, Sean Marston, and Benjamin Miller for being recognized amongst our most entrepreneurial alumni. I'm very impressed by the range of your achievements in building businesses in fields from forensics, through engineering project design and management, all the way to digital mortgages. Your successes demonstrate the breadth of skill and economic impact of an engineering education and the special nature of an education at the FAMU FSU College of Engineering. Congratulations once again and go Knowles! At number 60, Florida Environmental and Land Services, Inc. Elva Peppers. Number 59, Physical Equilibrium LLC, Sarah Dimmick. Number 58, Spotless Logistics Commercial Cleaning Services, Chris Hooks. Number 57, JB Shepherd and Company Inc., Curtis Fellaini. Number 56, Lucky Goat Coffee, LLC, Ben Pouch and Brooke Pouch. Number 55, Nexus Tech, Joshua Rag. Number 54, 360 Advanced, Inc., Dan Collins. Number 53, All Seasons Wealth, Jeff Housinger. 
Number 52, MCCI, Donnie Barstow. And at number 51, Imaginuity, Charlie Calise. Hi, I'm Randy Hanna, and I'm the Dean of Florida State University, Panama City, and also the FSU College of Applied Studies. Congratulations to all of the honorees. And we're especially proud to recognize two of the honorees from Panama City. And they graduated from the Panama City campus. First is Aaron Rich of Aaron Rich Marketing. And this is the second year that Aaron Rich Marketing has been recognized with this award. And in addition, also for the second year is Innovations Federal Credit Union, led by their CEO, David Southall. But one thing about innovation is you walk through their headquarters or you walk through their branches and the place is filled with FSU PC graduates. You know, here at FSU PC, we talk about the FSU PC promise and that this is always your home and that we work hard to be a partner with you. Tonight, we're happy to recognize two of our great partners, Aaron Rich Marketing and Innovations Federal Credit Union. Congratulations, and go Knowles. Hello, I'm Jay Fogarty, Dean of the FSU College of Medicine. I'm proud to offer my congratulations to FSU alumni physicians, Adam Langley and Gary Visser, and to all of our honorees for being named to the Seminole 100 this year. Our effort at the College of Medicine during the admissions process is to identify students who not only possess the academic qualities needed to thrive during medical school and residency and in practice, but who also possess personal attributes that will lead them to be responsive to community needs and to serve as leaders beyond the walls of their practice. Those qualities are certainly in evidence in Drs. Langley and Visser and are a big part of why they are being honored here tonight. Congratulations to you all and go Knowles. At number 50, Ancient City Brewing Company, LLC, Greg Tuttle. Number 49, Premier Med Family and Sports Medicine, Adam Langley and Gary Visser. Number 48, Imagine Media Consulting, Chantel Chris. Number 47, Aerospace Quality Research and Development. Suresh Narayanan. Number 46, Catalyst Corporate Holdings, LLC. Chad Henderson. Number 45, Atlanta Family and Immigration Law Firm. Judith DeLuce Montgomery. Number 44, Aaron Rich Marketing. Aaron Rich. Number 43, Connect Agency, John Ream. Number 42, Synergy Settlement Services, Daniel Alvarez, Jason Lazarus, and Anthony Preto Jr. Number 41, Boomerang Transportation, LLC, John Novak. I'm Sam Huckaba, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. It is a pleasure to recognize all those who have been named to the 2021 Seminole 100 list. This distinction is significant and elicits pride for your success. As alumni of FSU, you are recipients of a comprehensive and well-rounded education. And as graduates of FSU's largest college, you represent some 100,000 arts and sciences alumni worldwide. Whether your degree was earned in the humanities or the sciences or somewhere in between, we are honored to have you as part of our arts and sciences family. We salute you for your achievements, for representing the college and institution with high integrity, and for carrying on a tradition of excellence and commitment. Congratulations, Seminole 100, and may your successes continue as you pursue your personal and professional goals. Best wishes for a happy and healthy 2021. At number 40, Thielen Plus Tax and Business Consulting, James Thielen. 
Number 39, Home Care Connect, LLC. Richard Montgomery and Teresa Williams. Number 38, Marmor Construction, Inc. Meredith Wool. Number 37, PRA Business Events, New Orleans. Jeff O'Hara. Number 36, Financial and Retirement Strategies, Inc. Douglas Dort. Number 35, Practice 42. Audrey Earhart. Number 34, The Neves Law Firm, APC. Joanna Neves. Number 33, IMS Business. Jessica Morgan Four and Greg Patterson. Number 32, Walk West, Sharon Delaney McLeod. Number 31, TNGI LLC, Steve Kropp. Hi, I'm Larry Dennis, Dean of FSU's College of Communication and Information. As Dean, I am pleased to recognize our alumni and the companies they represent as one of the Seminole 100. Your company is being recognized as one of the fastest growing 100 companies in the FSU family, and that is a pretty elite group. Your leadership, innovation, and hard work are an inspiration to all of us. I hope we will be able to gather in person in the near future, but even though we are not able to be together, we are celebrating together. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you. You put the go in Go Knowles. Number 30, Ramsey & Walker, LLC, Brett Ramsey. Number 29, Kuponda Capital, LLC, Bobby Pittman. Number 28, Inlight Energy, Julio Hernandez. Number 27, Legacy Insurance Associates Unlimited, Inc., Brandon Levy. Number 26, Crown Asset Management, LLC, Brian Williams. Number 25, Social Catering and Events, Brian McKenna, Amanda Morrison, Matt Thompson, and Angela Walker. Number 24, A-Line, Scott Price. Number 23, ReliaQuest, Brian Murphy. Number 22, Chisholm Law Firm, PLLC. Audrey K. Chisholm. Number 21, J. David Tax Law, Jonathan Suryash. It is my privilege as Dean of the College of Social Sciences and Public Policy to congratulate all of our alumni that have been named to the 2021 Seminole 100 list. While many think that the college only produces graduates that work in the public and nonprofit sector, tonight's honorees help to illustrate that our graduates go on and start businesses and use the skills they learned in the college, including teamwork, innovation, and resilience. It is exciting to see so many of the college's alumni lead the way in the business world and to strengthen and better the communities they work in. Congratulations to all tonight's winners and go Knowles. Number 20, Arden Eagle Solutions, Joe Albano. Number 19, Landmark Tax Group, Michael Raynon. Number 18, Good Wipes, Sam Nebel and Peter Sisiak. Number 17, 30A Beach Service, Glenn Foote and Robert Morales. Number 16, Platform Surfaces, Frank Palumbo. 
Number 15. Oasis International Corporation. Tony Johnson. Number 14. The Oaks Apparel Company, LLC. Jennifer Kennedy. Number 13. Baldwin Risk Partners. Trevor Baldwin. Number 12. Taylor Financial. Adam Taylor. Number 11. Resonant Sciences. Micah North. Greetings, Seminoles. All of us here at the College of Business offer sincere congratulations to our alumni on being selected as a Florida State University Seminole 100 honoree. Your company's success as one of the fastest growing businesses owned or led by FSU alumni reflects well in both the university and the College of Business, and we could not be prouder of you and your accomplishments. As one of the top business schools in the nation, our goal is and has always been to create an environment for students to think creatively and hone the tools needed to build a strategy for launching, implementing, and sustaining their businesses. The successful development of new ideas is crucial to a business being able to improve its processes, bring new and improved goods and services to the market, increase its efficiency, and most importantly, sustain its growth and profitability for the long term. To that end, you have succeeded remarkably. Innovative and successful businesses like yours drive the American economy and are a cause for great optimism about the future of our country. We thank you for all of your contributions to the health and vibrancy of our free market economy. I hope to congratulate you in person in the near future. Until that time, remember that you are not just a Seminole, you are a College of Business Seminole. Congratulations again, and go Knowles! At number 10, Digital Resource, Shay Berman. Number nine, Select Shades, LLC, Jonathan Brimer. Number eight, Simple Nexus, Ben Miller. Number seven, Visitor LLC, Ron Dodd. Number six, BRCK, Eric Herzman. Then there were five. We're going to slow things down a bit and tell you a little bit more about our top five companies. Number five, Kinlock Partners. Kinlock Partners LLC is a real estate investment company formed in 2011 by childhood friends Bruce McNeilage and Chris Zachary. The company owns, builds, and manages single-family rental homes throughout the Southeast. A pioneer in the build-to-rent single-family homes neighborhood concept, Kinlock Partners specializes in helping individuals and families live the American dream by providing affordable new construction and a path to home ownership. Number five. Kinlock Partners, Bruce McNeilage. Number four, Talentric. Talentric is transforming talent acquisition partnerships. They know that hiring managers encounter numerous challenges when seeking to source highly skilled positions or multiple roles within a specific geography, industry, or targeted skill set. Talentric was created after analyzing best practices from the executive recruiting industry, contingent partnerships, RPOs, contract, and consulting offerings. Number four, Talentric, Mike Burgett. Number three, Coalition Recovery. Coalition Recovery is a nationally accredited behavioral health treatment center and multi-location healthcare organization based out of Tampa, Florida. With tens of thousands of patient visits per year, Coalition Recovery serves as a thought leader to the healthcare industry with its innovative, new approaches to treatment and revolutionary aftercare. Number three, Coalition Recovery. Alexander Ronzino. Number two, 
Eat Fresco. Eat Fresco is changing the way packaged food products are made by employing a fresh and local approach to packaged food products. Made locally in Florida, Eat Fresco uses only all natural ingredients and innovative, transparent packaging locks in freshness without the need for preservatives. Eat Fresco meals are ready to eat in under two minutes, providing solutions for retailers like Publix. Number two, Eat Fresco, Robert Povalny. And now to announce the number one company on the 2021 Seminole 100 list, President John Thrasher. It's my pleasure to announce the number one company on the 2021 Seminole 100 list. Based in Chattanooga, Tennessee, this company grew by an astounding 327%. Please join me in congratulating the top Seminole 100 honoree for 2021, Southern Spear Ironworks, LLC. Southern Spear Ironworks was founded in 2016 by Sean Compton, who earned his degree in finance and real estate from FSU's College of Business in 2008. Southern Spear Ironworks is a full service structural steel shop with nearly 100 employees and projects located in its home state of Tennessee all the way to Antarctica. This company has an in-house infrastructure that was built specifically to design, engineer, and fabricate and erect projects with their uniquely efficient high-tech collaborative operations. Congratulations to Sean Compton and Southern Spear Ironworks, LLC. Hi, I'm Sean Compton, uh, Florida State Class of 2008. Uh, really excited to get this award. Uh, it's one of the most humbling, most exciting things that's really ever happened in my business career. Never thought when I started this out of not even a garage when I began this, but an apartment, that this would turn into the company that it has. Uh, when we started Southern Spear out of my apartment, we had three people. Uh, now we're close to 100, and it's become a company that works all over the world and the country doing all kinds of interesting construction projects, and it's really been a blast uh, as far as getting to this point. It's been a very trying year, I think, for everybody involved, and it would have been wonderful to get together with all the fellow Seminole alumni and you know, kind of fellowship and, and enjoy this and have a glass of champagne with everybody. Unfortunately, we can't do this this year with the pandemic. The last time we had a pandemic 100 years ago, it also gave birth to the Roaring Twenties. Um, so I think we're gonna hopefully come out of this stronger than we were before, uh, definitely tougher. Uh, the, the businesses that did survive learned how to adjust on the fly, make things happen, which could only make you better in the end. Uh, Learn this also the hard way, um, for playing for Bobby Bowden, going through mat drills and spring training and stuff, getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning and running till we threw up. But at those times, you don't think what it's gonna cause is a, a positive effect later in your life, but it does. Uh, pushing and learning to uh, tolerate pain and push through those, those difficult times is what creates great leaders, uh, great business people, and teaches you how to deal with these, these difficult times. I'd like to give some thanks to the College of Business at Florida State for teaching me how to save money and how banking works, how to use finance to advantage, whether you are specifically in finance or real estate. If you own a business, you need to understand how money works. And that's something specifically that really helped me through my business career in construction is that a lot of my peers and competitors don't understand how finance works. Uh, Florida State really prepared me for that and it was a huge help uh, creating my business. I would also like to thank uh, the whole football operations center, the football staff, and specifically Bobby Bowden for teaching me what it means to have character, uh, how to be humble through winning, through adversity, how to treat other people. Being in a position of leadership comes with uh, great responsibility and it can come with great power and understanding how to be a great leader uh, means to approach people, understand people, uh, you know, put yourself in their shoes, bring them with you and lead by example. Uh, a lot of times too many people overlook these qualities and they think it's my way or the highway and that's not how a great leader should work. Uh, Bobby Bowden really helped uh, initiate a lot of these beliefs and principles in me. 
Uh, he used to tell us every day after practice and before practice, you get 1% better every day. That nothing is overnight and you have to keep grinding. I'd like to thank some people uh, for winning this award. First, I'd like to thank my team at Southern Spear Ironworks for them believing in me, showing up every day, working on making that 1% better. Uh, I'd like to thank all our clients, all our vendors that made this possible. Also, I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me and the long hours and the travel and the, the, the days of you know, working from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. at night. Uh, without these people, this wouldn't be possible. I'd like to congratulate the other top five people from the top 100. Uh, I want them to remember what an important day this is and how, how much it's taken for them to get here and appreciate the journey that came with this. Uh, make sure that they frame their award and hang it behind them in their office and think about it every day about how they got to this position so that they remember it and appreciate every moment. I'd like to really thank the Seminole Top 100 for hosting this virtual event. Hopefully we can do this again in person and actually get to shake hands eventually again someday. Uh, FSU has been very important in my life and I hope to many, many more years of being involved with the entrepreneurship program and with Florida State University. Thank you again and go Knowles. Congratulations to Southern Spear Ironworks LLC and Sean Compton. Your achievements should be commended. You have the vision to see new possibilities, the passion to drive forward, and the courage to risk going far enough to succeed. And congratulations to all our 2021 Seminole 100 honorees. You possess the will, the grit, and the determination to innovate and make the world a better place. You inspire us every day, and we look forward to seeing many more great things you all will accomplish. Thank you once again to our financial partner, EY, our very sponsor, FSU Alumni Association, and our Garnet sponsors, Atlanta Family and Immigration Law, and VRA Partners. I'd also like to recognize the staff of the Jim Moran Institute for their hard work and dedication in making this virtual event possible. Nominations for the 2022 Seminole 100 will open tomorrow, February 19th at seminole100.fsu.edu. Applications will open on May 3rd and will be accepted through July 30th. We encourage you all to apply for next year and please spread the word. It has been an honor to host this signature event and recognize your achievements as entrepreneurs and leaders. Your alma mater is incredibly proud of each of you and we hope you feel proud to be a part of Florida State University.